You can come in. Yeah. You can't. Oh. Oh, hello. I thought garden gnomes were all overweight and bearded. But you're actually cute. Hardly any facial hair at all. Would you like some tea? Uh, no, thank you. I, I just want... I've often wondered what it's like to be a gnome. I mean, wearing the same red dress every day would be like a fashion prison for me. And living outdoors must be awful. Standing outside in the rain and freezing cold. Like a dog. Uh, I don't really have time for this. My family are in danger. Please just hand over the clue. Work, work, work. Now I see why Sherlock chose you. Sherlock didn't choose me. And he never will. With Sherlock, work always comes first. There's always another case to crack, another mystery to solve, another backyard of gnomes to rescue. You don't understand. Oh, I understand perfectly. Enough. I don't care about Sherlock. He is the single most annoying gnome I've ever met. I wouldn't date Sherlock if he were the last gnome on Earth. I already have a partner, and he's nothing like Sherlock. Nomeo is reckless and emotional, and he doesn't treat me like an assistant. He treats me like I'm the toughest gnome in the garden. He believes in me. He loves me with all his heart, and if you asked him to choose between me and work or anything, really, he'd choose me every time. Hmm. A man doesn't make you strong. You're right, a man doesn't make you strong. But the right partner can make you stronger. But I've let mine down. And now I need to make it right. All right. I'll give you what you want. But only on two conditions. First, you tell Sherlock this had absolutely nothing to do with him. And second? After you save the day, you come back and tell me all about it. Well, you got a deal. Hmm. You already know it's all about you. So what is the pattern in the final clue? The patterns. Where are they leading us? I've got it! Traitor's Gate at the Tower of London, where Watson and I solved our first case. But it's on the other side of the city. We're running out of time. Let's go! <coughs> Ladies and gentle monsters. What's, what's going on? What, what are you guys doing? What's happening? Well, right, lads. Let's do this. The Royal Gnome Theatre Company proudly presents The Princess and the Frog. Move out of the way. Let me see. Hello. Princess Benny is here. <sighs> I love fairy tales. Written and directed by me. Stage designed by me. Lighting. Keep going. Once upon a time, a beautiful princess <laughs> tiptoed through the forest when she came across a prince who had been cursed by an evil witch. Alas, cursed am I, transformed into a frog. Hold on, wait a second. What is wrong oh. with being a frog? Oi, Meryl Streep. Just read the lines. This is so froggist. What can lift this terrible spell? You can tell a frog didn't write this. <laughs> the only way to break the curse was with a kiss. Oh, great. They're going to kiss. Oh, no, I, 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 I can't. Kiss the frog. Kiss the frog. Kiss the Why can't you kiss me? Because if you love someone, you only want to kiss them if they want to kiss you back. But this isn't the girl you love. It's just me. Me. Go on. Kiss the frog. It is just me. 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 Wait. Oh. Ah. Kiss the frog! <gasps> huh? What was that? Uh, 
Uh, just then, uh, a very handsome suitor arrived. Who are you? I am Captain Love, a.k.a. The Love Machine, a.k.a. Baron Von Kissy Kissy. Bunnies, give me a beat. Watch these moves. Woo! Come on, bunnies, let's party. Dance with me. All right. And whatever you do, don't look behind you. Yes. Oh, no. Hold on. What is going on? They were putting on the show. Ow. Showtime's over. Bag them up. <gasps> Boss says it's time for their big surprise. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're too late. Where are the gnomes? Show yourself, Moriarty. No, Sherlock. Not Moriarty. Watson? But that's impossible. Not impossible. Merely improbable. It wasn't an M. It was a W for Watson. But I knew you'd miss that because it had to do with me. This was my game. But we, we saw you fall. We, we saw you get smashed. No, you heard me get smashed. I caught myself before I landed. As for the sound you heard, just a flower pot. What have you done with the gnomes? What have you done with Gnomeo? They're all fine. They're right behind that door. Miss Juliet, I am sorry I had to involve your garden. But this was the only way to get through to Sherlock. You did all this? But why? Because we used to be a team. Sherlock and Watson, friends, partners in crime solving. But over time, you stopped respecting me. The only ornament you respected was Moriarty. There was only one way I could prove myself to you. I had to pretend to be Moriarty. I orchestrated this game. I challenged you to a battle of wits. And you won. You beat me. That's all I wanted to hear. And now, you and I are finished. Maybe you'll treat your next partner a little better. Yeah, when you two have quite finished, can we please free the gnomes now? Of course. With my apologies. Since my friends live here at Traitor's Gate, this was the best place to ensure the gnomes would be safe. I designed the room to be as pleasant as possible. They've even got many gone. Gnomeo! Dad! Nanette! Where are they? Huh? Not here. Never were. <laughs> what do you mean? What's going on? Ronnie, why don't you enlighten our small friend? Here's the thing, mate. We, we don't actually work for you. What are you talking Sherlock, about? Get off me! Sherlock, do something! <laughs> oh, look at you. <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> taking us I don't know the gnomes they were supposed to be there Sherlock Sherlock for goodness sake will you please just say something limestone he meant say something useful I just did substance on my shoe it's limestone the gargoyles lied they're not from traitors gate so if we can deduce where they're really from we'll find the gnomes that's why I kicked him to see quite literally what he was made of the gargoyles also reeked of salt. Here, taste my shoe. No, no, just keep going. So the gargoyles must live close to water. Now, place your hands on this wall. Do you feel that? That 